Hey guys, I want to bring y'all up to date on some stuff. I'm about, I've got a video I did earlier today, and it's about these solar panels. And these solar panels here are all, as every single one of them, under 120 or 30 watts, they're all made in China, Southeast Asia. The Solar Energy Foundation has a listing of watt scales, and they plainly state, there are no companies, as in zero, nada, negative, zilch, I don't know how many words you need for it. There are no companies that manufacture uh, solar panels that are 100 watt and smaller in America, in uh, Europe, anywhere in Europe, in Africa, in Russia, in South America, in Mexico even. There are none, none. Anybody that's got an ad out there that says made in Germany, you know, other than the cells being made in Germany. Anybody has got an ad out there that said made in France, other than the frames being made in France. Anybody says an ad out there made in Italy, other than the wire connectors made in Italy. Anybody has one out there saying, you know, made in Canada or England, well, shit, they don't have a solar industry anymore. So even Canadian solar isn't a solar industry anymore. So the fact of the matter is, is that what's left of the American companies out here, they're only making the big panels. And, you know, pardon my hands, I work for a living, so. But they only make the big panels. You can't buy the small panels, the 100 water smaller panels. In fact, mostly you can't buy the 140 water smaller. The Steon panels in one of my videos is 135 watt and some 130 waters. And those panels were getting discounted out and gotten rid of because guess what? They don't make anything below 150 watts anymore. So anytime that you get told that a panel is, uh, you know, comes from Europe um, or comes from America and it's under 100, 120 watts, basically, basically 120 or less, they are what they would call in most categories full of shit. Because even though they can put whatever they want on their ad, it doesn't make it true. But they can't go back that up because guess what? There are no factories that manufacture things in that category, none in any of the places other than China, Korea, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, that sure as hell ain't anywhere in, uh, in what you call the uh, Aryan or even African countries, not at all. So, all right, now let's explain. Here, I'm gonna cut. All right, you see that panel right there? UL Solar, okay? The cells, made in Germany. The wire, who in the hell knows? The frames, pretty sure China. Fully assembled, everything in there in Seoul, South Korea. Korea, not America, okay? Let's get that out of our system. Four years ago, made in America? No. There hasn't been any small panels made in America in a very long time. There hasn't been any small panels made in England, in France, in Switzerland, in Germany, in Italy, in, in uh, Greece, in Turkey. None of it, none of it. It's all made in China. The reason that those, all those uh, countries, including America and Canada, do not make small panels is that the market, the, the volume level of this, they cannot compete. The Chinese dumped on the market. So a lot of companies set up shield places. They're basically like you hear about shield bidding on eBay, where they're shield places. They're just a freaking storefront, and they import the shit from China and from Korea and from Vietnam and from Sri Lanka and from Taiwan, and then they put their freaking stickers on it and claim it's made in France, claim it's made in Germany, claim it's made in America because they have an office there. Well, I'm calling bullshit on it and I'm gonna to explain to you that the best thing you can do is if you're gonna get a 100 watt or 120 watt smaller panel, the best thing you can do is find exactly the best that they have to offer instead of B-rated shit. Well, getting dark, lights kicked on out in the carport. Nothing like solar power. All right, it works. Chinese crap will work. You got, got to know what's better. All right, let's go. Let's go see that video. Hi, everybody. I'm going to give you what is called a solar power user's owner's review, not a seller. Now, remember, a seller's review is, is his stuff's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'm going to give you a user's review. Sitting here, I have two panels that I bought from a company as a pair uh, called Windy Nation. 
sitting there, that one over there, which is a little smaller, is a solar panel that a friend of mine purchased and had sent to me that is out of a, a company in Missouri. And we're gonna blank most of that out, but it's called Missouri Wind and something. It's So this panel and this panel has been producing for three and a half years, full power. I've lost nothing, no degradation at all. However, this panel over here, which is physically smaller than these panels, it is a half inch less in width, half inch less in length, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to get moisture inside of it. It's having cell failure right now. There's two cells in a row that are failing in it, and um, I don't know what to say. It's putting out barely two amps. These are putting out eight plus. Uh, in bright sun and they can put out you know as low as six to, to six to eight amps is what they'll be putting out is what they are putting out this one here might peak at two and a half right now it used to peak at about five never ever did it ever peak at 100 watts ever 87 86 that's it even with the meter attached straight to it these here produced 103 108 this one here i think was 111 so they overproduced now i'm not recommending this company because he's he's kind of a nut job in my view and if you if you tell the truth about this company's products they sue you that's what they do they even they're even brag about it. they're even proud of it they put it on their web page they're proud as hell about suing people and paying twenty thirty fifty thousand dollars to sue people they don't ever collect anything but they sue people that's what they do this company here has had to sue that company or I'll go after them in a court case because of all the slander that this company did to this company. So I recommend this company simply because, not because of the personalities. You know, I'm a user. It's my money. I don't give a damn. It's my money. I'm recommending this company, which is called Windy Nation, over this company, which is called Missouri Windy something, uh, simply because this company has never sued their customers uh, that's not happy. This one has because this company doesn't cause any problems and if you have a warranty issue you actually speak to someone you get the I'll call you back so I'm recommending this company and they've sold a couple thousand more panels than this company for the single purpose that they're more durable they're more dependable company and apparently I think they pick from a better Chinese supplier these are Chinese I don't give a damn what anybody says so there's a different grade of every one of them these were sold as grade A, best in the world. They're actually even listed as mono panel when they were sold, and you can tell they're polycrystalline and that they are failing <laughs> right now. So that's what we're working with here. So I'm gonna give you a link and I'm gonna show you some clips, uh, the, the photos here of this company's panel. Let's go over here to this other set. This panel here is two and a half years, been up for two and a half years, I'm almost two and a half years, and it's failing. These panels have been up going on three and a half years, and they're working great, okay? So let's go to this other over here. These panels are produced uh, solar something, I can't remember. Same company, I believe, that sells the ones Windy Nation sells, or same manufacturer. Now these panels are 20 watt panels, and they produce more than 20 watts. And I got them for about $22 a panel from a company called Solar Boulevard. Nice, nice, awesome people. Uh, they even have a co-partner, I think, or, or wherever, Fred 480 or something on eBay. But they sold me these panels. I bought them direct from Solar Boulevard, not eBay. And the, uh, the fact is, is that every one of these are four years old and they still put out their rating plus, plus there's six of them. And I have them at a wintertime angle because they have a particular purpose they're involved in. And believe it or not, they work beautiful. And I have to switch them back and forth during the summertime. During the wintertime, these actually run a snow melt line on my roof to keep uh, stuff off my house. That's their purpose. But they still work perfect, and they're constantly being used. So not a problem with these panels. I'd recommend them also. So let's go over here, and I'm going to give you some links so you'll get an idea of what you're dealing with here. These panels, they're actually much thicker, much more solid. I mean, you can see that 
that it's uh, uh, even where they're sitting at, they have to set back further because it's a taller panel. If it was this much forward, it would be taller. It's much thicker here than this, and it's not having any cell failure. These panels are still perfect. They're still perfect. So go look for the links. Buy what you want. I don't give a damn. I'm going with the Windy Nations if I buy more of these kind of panels. However, I'm going towards all amorphous. These are just dinosaurs in my book, and that's just shit in my book. All right. All right, and before some people might get particularly ass hurt over the fact that I am reviewing solar panels, this is a panel called a UL Solar. Uh, they went out of business or they sold out. I don't know what the hell that happened, but they're no longer around. This is a Bosch panel, produces very well. I want you to look how dirty it is. Filthy, freaking filthy, still producing really well. And charging the batteries, running the lights in my little carport. Needs to be washed, but it's doing very well still. I have a whole bunch of these 85 watt panels on my shop roof and I'll shoot you a little night video uh, clip of that, or night clip of that. Um, I think I have 32 of them, I think it's what it is. And that's what's the same thing. These actually work very well. And for being only two bus bar, they stay actually outperform anything else so far that I've got. They're a little better, but they're, they don't, you just can't find them anymore. The cells are even thicker. I mean, you can actually see a side view of the cell. They're actually thicker. And so probably too expensive to make any more like that. And I think those are roughly about, these panels here are roughly about, uh, they're going on four years old. They're very good. Um, those are dirty too. And they're producing like crazy, but they do that. That's amorphous panels, old unisolars, nine to 10% efficiency is all. Been up there a very long time, still work perfect. Even though they're filthy and they need to be rained on, so. All right, now you're gonna see my suggestions. That's what they are, suggestions. Uh, gotta be careful whose solar company you suggest or whose wind turbine company because there's one guy who just likes to sue the shit out of everybody every time they tell the truth. But what the hell, shit happens. He seems to like that.